Hi, my name is Mike Robbins. I'm your tobacconist, and I've been a tobacconist for 31 years. I've set up 10,000 humidors. I spend decades experimenting with the humidors. I use a delicate gram scale that weighs down to a hundredth of a gram to determine how much water the humidification device holds and how much water it uses in a box with a certain amount of cigars related to the size of the box, the style of the box, the type of wood the box has. Uh, and, uh, and I'll weigh it every day, keeping a daily log, measuring the amount of water usage and the humidity levels in the box. I determined that in California, in Southern California, the propylene glycol has to be mixed 25% to 75% distilled water to have a 70% humidity in this box with the newest humidification devices. I also determine humidity using a $150 thermo hygro, an accurate hygrometer. It's delicate and perfect and uh, is the best available uh, in a mobile unit. And I check that with a sling psychrometer, which is the ultimate method if you're going to be a pseudo-scientist, the ultimate method of determining the exact humidity. How do you get a humidor and how do you set it up? First, buy a good one. If you don't get a good one, if you buy one for $29 online with 25 cigars, you're going to get a box that you're going to have to give your kids to store toys in because it's just not going to work. Don't waste your time and don't ruin your cigars. Don't put cigars in it. Now this is where we get into some old wives' tales. You don't need to throw a bunch of water into this wood box before you start it off. This device holds 56 grams of water. Each cigar holds 1.5 grams of water. That is equal to, let me check my notes, 25 cigars, 56 grams of water in the device. That's 93 grams of water, almost a half cup of water. That's like you're pouring in this box. Cigars, humidification device, a half of a cup of water. It's wood. It doesn't need more than that. If you set it up with good cigars that are 70% humidity and you put the water in the device, it sets up perfectly to begin. In 24 hours, this box was set at 70% humidity exactly with that setting. 25% solution, 75% water, humidification device, 25 cigars. That's all you need to do. Different boxes might work a little differently. A beautiful solid mahogany box with three quarter inch mahogany, uh, double miter construction, 30 coats of lacquer finish, is going to hold a little tighter humidity and you're going to have to experiment with that. You can monitor it using your digital hygrometer. Don't use an analog hygrometer. The analog hygrometers are not accurate. Sometimes I can look at a box and be a little mistaken. Here's an inexpensive box, the 150 uh, Partagas box, that I thought wouldn't work. The wood was too thin. I assume, though, that this might be made out of solid Spanish cedar. And for some reason, I put a good humidification device in, this same humidification device. I put it in that box, and it was 70% humidity it, right from the start with 20 cigars in it. It started off perfectly and maintained a good humidity. Let's go to the uh, glass top humidors. The glass top humidors, all right, it's, it's really a mistake. You need hanging humidification because moisture falls. But let's take it out. We'll take out the humidification device. If you can, take it out of the slot. Soak it in propylene glycol and distilled water, according to my mixture. Put it in there. Put in 50 cigars, which is equal to 75 grams of water. And, uh, and then this device holds a couple ounces, that's 56 grams. Then you're going to put in the top shelf. But moisture doesn't just magically rise up here to the top shelf. You have to get moisture up there somehow. That's why you have bovidas. The bovidas are going to go right on top of the cigars on the top shelf. That moves the humidor up. It keeps exact humidity on the top shelf and keeps everything perfect. Don't depend on the analog hygrometers. The analog hygrometers are not accurate. I've never seen an accurate one. They're always off by a few percent, if not five or seven or ten percent. Uh, if you reset the hygrometer, it's like it's like a watch. Uh, if the watch is uh, is off by two minutes every day and you reset it, uh, you have to reset it every day. Just because you reset it, the, the two minutes it's off doesn't mean it's going to be accurate tomorrow. It's still going to be inaccurate, and these still going to be inaccurate. Don't use it.
get a digital hygrometer, 20 bucks, 25, 30 bucks tops. They should be about 20 bucks, maybe 25. Run with that. This, this is where I'm going to stop today. We'll come back to more in the future so I can cover everything. There's 10,000 things to cover with humidors and cigars. I'll try and cover them all as questions come in too. Thanks a lot.